the sadness is a Taiwanese horror film. It's currently playing on Shutter, and it is different than a traditional zombie movie in the sense that I don't want to ruin too much. Like whenever I talk about a film, most of you have not seen, unless we've all seen it. Like let's say a Thor. I'm not. I, I don't want to get into any spoilers. We're going to talk about the first half of the movie. It begins with a young couple. Um. She needs to go off to work. He's like, hey, take a day off work. You know, they're living together. Very happy, romantic, uh, young young love. They're in their 20s. She's got to go to work. He's like, don't go to work. Stay home. She's going to fulfill her obligation go to work. She ends up going to work. And that's when the zombie outbreak happens. Now, uh, the, the guy who stays home is suddenly his place is invaded by his neighbor who's caught this virus. The virus, res- what it does is, it turns you into a homicidal maniac, where not only do you, do you seek a thrill from the pain someone else is receiving, so you're looking to basically murder, maim, chop someone up, kill someone, bite their ears off, bite their nose off, bite other things off. It's horrific. It is one of the goriest zombie movies I have ever seen ever. And it's, it's from Taiwan. Um, I, I was fortunate enough to watch it with my girlfriend. She doesn't, my girlfriend doesn't like when I bring her up on the stream, but I'm bringing her up right now because <laughs> she grew, she grew up in Taiwan and she could confirm like, Oh my God, like I know that street and this area and whatever, like, like it was really interesting to get her cultural uh, perspective. Um, and she could understand. I always prefer to watch movies with the subtitles on. It's just my personal preference. I understand why people like to watch things dubbed, you know. Um, but I like to I, I like to go subtitles myself. Just personal taste. I don't judge if you're a dub guy. I know a lot of people look down on that. I do not. However you choose, however you choose, go for it. But the um, I, I I think the sadness is. It's incredible. It's incredibly gory, like arms being ripped off, people being tortured physically in ways you don't see in a zombie movie. In a zombie movie, usually you people get bitten and then you know they turn into a zombie. No, in this, it's people are being tortured physically, and parts of it are sexual. It's sickening. I mean, they do get into the reasons for this, mm-hmm. and you see like the whole country now is like this virus is spreading quickly, and you see people suffering, trying to get to places of safe haven. Uh, The movie really focuses on the couple and their efforts to reunite. They're trying to reunite uh, using, using their cell phones, cell service is not so great. And it leads to an amazing climax that I don't want to ruin. Chris Winston asks a quick question saying, why is the sadness audience score so low? Because people are morons. I think people in this maybe, case, maybe it's too good at, uh, at the, I don't know. I know it's too good. You need to, here's what I'll say. A normie seeing this movie think, say, thinking I like horror films. Then they go to see the sadness. Uh, they're probably going to hate it. It's not a, it's not an accessible um, zombie yeah. thing. Like say the walking dead is very accessible. The walking dead is, you know, at least the first few seasons they thought were great and I stopped watching it. Um, but walk, The Walking Dead as a zombie series is very accessible. The sadness is not, it's it's one of the goriest zombie movies, might be the goriest zombie movie ever made. The, the gore is over the top. I mean, in certain, like, people are, they're, blood is spraying not like not like in a too ridiculous sense like if you've ever seen the movie tokyo gore police anyone raise your hand if you've seen tokyo gore police that's a oldie but a goodie reference from a while back but um that's over the top by design like a cartoon this is not like that but yeah the audience score i would not trust that i would have to say if, if if you if you know what you're getting into when you go into it and you like that, great. If it's not for you, totally respect it. I'll, I'll say one th- cool thing about the sadness is the title. I don't know if it's a spoiler, but the the, t- the title sadness plays into it in a very deep psychological way. Yeah, it's. I know there's a review on the Film Threat website. Is that mm-hmm. right? Yeah, absolutely. And I think we saw it at, at Berlin. Uh, it might have been Fantasia Fest. might have been Fantasia Fest. Yeah, it's one Something of those. Like that. Yeah. Uh, 
Visceral says the sadness was okay. I wish it had more of a metal soundtrack like at the end. Uh, I disagree. I, I, I like it. The fingers part freaked me out, says Time Link. <laughs> I agree. And John Witch Boy says, did you go to Midsummer Scream in Long Beach? You might consider doing an indie horror film panel there. Personally, I think it is a better con than SDCC. I will say this. S San Diego Comic Con is just, it's too big. It's too big. But it's a place that I see people I only see once a year, and I see them in San Diego. So uh, Midsummer Scream is, is is awesome. I have been. I did not go. Did it just take place? I did no, not go. I'm actually on the jury for the Shorts, shorts Festival. So it hasn't happened? No, it's uh, – no, I believe it's later on. But our good friend Norm is, uh, is a big part of that. All right. Well, look, Alan, just because you brought it up, I'll go with you. <laughs> okay. I'll go I with you. Okay. You don't have to, I'll, I'll, fine. I'll, I'll, fine, I'll go. Okay. We're going. I'll see you there. CD Stein 69 for 999 says, Do you think South Korea having to deal with the North has parallels to the development of earlier great American horror like Romero during the shadow of the Cold War? Mm -hmm. I do believe that. I think that the Cold based. War, the Cold War really resulted in a lot of great science fiction and horror from the 50s, in the 1950s is when that mm -hmm. started. Um, specifically movies that were influenced by the Cold War. Uh, the Day the Earth Stood Still, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. War of the World. Are, War of the World. Are we here? What happened? Okay, I wasn't sure if you're stuck or if I'm stuck. One of us is stuck, but... Yeah, one of us was uh, stuck. And chat, let us know. Uh, but I do think that Something that's in the zeitgeist that affects so many people, whether it's conscious or not, Rock. will lead to the success of a piece of media, whether it be a novel, a comic book, a movie that can tap into what a lot of people are feeling, even if it's unbeknownst to them, like the psychological effects of the Cold War, the psychological effects of living in South Korea under the shadow of the threat from the North, from North Korea, those things, those things have an effect. They have an effect. Uh, accidental tourist says, Chris stuck. Yeah, I guess Am I stuck now? Let me know if I'm stuck now. Yeah. Last yeah, Phoenix, yeah, let me know. I think it's happened maybe three or four times. So I'll let you know. Has it? Yeah. My internet. I thought it was me for some reason. That's why I didn't say anything. Well, I'm, uh, let me know. I don't know. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it was only me. Maybe my internet is not so great. All right. My apologies, folks. My apologies. Uh, but Zax says, are we going to see a Chris Gore apology in Chinese tomorrow <laughs> for admitting Taiwan is a thing? Asking for John oh, Cena. Uh, we how, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I would are you say not going to do it? Like I would say no because I don't give a shit. Um, I do. I, I think no, ni hao. Taiwan is a country. I'll just say it right now. Yeah. Well, Taiwan is a country it's until it's its own. And, yeah. Until China takes it over, which will probably happen. And I'm serious. Sadly, you're probably right. Yeah, I think I am. I think, unfortunately, yeah. I am. But I recommend the sadness. Your mileage may vary. I respect those of you that didn't love it as much as I did. I, it's just one of those things where it's just like. I guess also part of the fun of watching a movie like movie like this is when you watch it with someone who can't handle the gore <laughs> and that person is screaming at the top of their lungs, yelling at you. Why did you put this movie on? That's half the fun. That's you half do. the fun. You it's too. Half the fun. 